Hey guys, uh, KaiMaker here. Today, I'm gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna be making fun of someone. <laughs> um, uh, so, my channel obviously is a gaming channel, but I don't wanna be boxed in as, like, categorized as a gaming channel. I just wanna do what I want, so, um, that's what I'm doing today. So, uh, yeah, today we're gonna be talking about Troom Troom. Uh, if you don't know about this channel, they're a channel who basically does, like, pranks you can do on your friend and, like, DIY stuff, like, but their videos are really weird. Like, they're obviously, like, a Russian channel, and they have an English translator, but she has no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be looking at the video, 22 Back to School Life Let's just jump into it. Okay, sorry I edited that, but yeah, they do like weird EDM uh, compilations of their like life hacks before every video. They're like, Two, one, drop it. Not really. Time to remember about the upcoming studies and to make school life easier with our new life hacks. Alright, how the f does a, a gun, like pretty much a homemade gun, help you with school? Or, or a knife? Like, what the, what the fuck? Do you dream of becoming a great traveler? I mean, I do plan on becoming an archaeologist, but what the fuck does that have to do with school? Visiting all the corners of the globe? Then you'll like our idea of a book cover. You need a printed world map. Put the book on the map and bend the corners in. What the fuck? What kind of explorer reads f Captain Underpants? Like what? What the thing here? Like what? What the absolute fuck, dude? Make cuts on the spine. Fold the edge. Attach the cover with decorative tape. The world cover will give your book some individuality and make it more practical. If these complex formulas still don't want to stay in your head, you need a backup. Let's make a cheat sheet in an eraser holder. Take the eraser out of the holder. Roll the sheet with formulas into a tube. Hide it inside. That's literally just f you. Do you know how, to, how school works, bro? Do you know that you can draw a smooth circle without a compass? You need two simple pencils, an eraser, and a clerical clamp. Tightly tie the pencils with an elastic band. Attach the clamp. Insert an eraser between the pencils. Using one of the pencils as a point of support, draw an even circle. And you can make a more complex compass. I actually find this one cool. As someone who likes uh, art and things like that, I. There's so, somehow I can't literally make a, a circle at all. Like, it literally is so lopsided, it looks... I don't know how to explain it. Here, I'll draw it for you. This segment also includes my own composition on a piano. Cute unicorns will be responsible for the office storage today. To make such a cutie, you will need a jar from Pringles. Cover it with white acrylic paint. To create an interesting texture, use a foam brush. Draw closed eyes with acrylic contour. Draw eyelashes. Fold the sheet of the pink foamaran in half. Cut out the ears and two circles. Cut out and decorate the ear. Attach the unicorn ears. Decorate with roses and attach a golden horn. Attach a fluffy tail. Or just use a pencil holder. Beauty and order. Let's make a stand for our textbook from the materials on hand. You need a large photo frame. Take out the back of the frame. Stretch a bright elastic band from both sides of the back. Attach it with hot glue. Place the pages of the textbook under the rubber bands. Install the stand with the book on the foot. 
It's now easier and more pleasant to do homework. Uh, that's literally one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. You realize um, there's a desk, right? You lean, you put it, the book in your lap, and lean it up against the side of the desk while you have your notebook on the table and you write notes in your notebook from the, from the <laughs> book. Like, what the f***? Oh my god, you do not have to remove a whole entire <laughs> picture frame just for your fucking contra is this contraption. And the complex grammar suddenly becomes a little easier. For the next life hack, you need a piece of bubble film. Cut off a strip from it. Let's decorate it with emoji stickers. Cut out the emoji and attach them to the bubbles. Such a fun strip can be used not only as a bookmark, but also as a fun anti-stress. You just feel like you need to press on this funny face. You know, I take it back. This might be one of the worst things I have literally ever seen. Um, Enemy, double kill. This Enemy, kill is a disgrace to the human race, and you know, they say it's anti-stress, but this actually stresses me out seeing this, like literally. Also, you can tell they're Russian here. Like, I told you that they have some weird translations. She calls it a fun strip. And she says... You just feel like you need to press on this funny face of an original shape from the materials on hand. Once again, there's a thing called a um, pencil case. Hmm, maths are so boring and incomprehensible. Is there a new video that came out on your favorite channel? If you could just give it a look. With our new life hack, it's possible even during the lesson. You need a fabric pencil case. Cut out the window by the size of your smartphone screen. Put the gadget in the pencil case and lift the cloth curtain. The video, of course, is very cool. I don't know how long ago the people at Trim Trim were, were at school, but I don't know if you realized, but you're not just allowed to watch videos in the middle of class. Like, literally, what the f Make a multifunctional gadget using an eraser and a flash drive. Or just use the flash drive by itself. But... And first, you need a spinner. <sighs> Are we really doing this? Those shits were around last year. They, like, they, they went out in like a month. Like, get that shit off my face. Cut and glue the pictures on the sides. Attach a fishing pole with a magnet to one clip and a metal carabiner to the other. Is it getting boring or do you need to put your nerves in order? You can paint pictures, play fishing, snap a carabiner, move the zipper, or spin a spinner. A real anti-stress for those who are tired of the school routine. <sighs> this is possibly the the worst thing I've ever seen. Like, I've said this two times already in this video, but, like, really? You're in school. How stressed out are you gonna be? Like, I have anxiety disorder. It's been proven by a doctor. And do I need stickers to help me out? No. Like, what the It's a test. Like, like, right before your math test, you take this shit you're like, my anti-stress zipper. Like, literally. And um, in these dark times where Trim Trim rules over this earth. <sighs> I don't know, but I've composed a song to represent the horror that we were going through. Let's surprise our friends with the original design of drawing crayons. You need wax crayons and a pack of chewing gum. Get the gum out of the package. Light the tip of the crayon and fill the package with wax drops. A pencil in the form of chewing gum is not only stylish, but also very convenient. Number one, you're just making a fat crayon. Number two, how the f is that convenient? 
And number three, I think I lost a color pencil. After all, your hands remain clean after drawing. Let's create a portable mini version of a paper knife. You need an eraser of a square shape. Cut it in half. In each of the halves of the eraser, make a deep incision. Break off a small piece from the blade of the paper knife. Fill the cavity in the eraser with hot glue and insert the blade into it. Close it and use as a normal eraser. All right, you gotta be kidding me. I really think these Russians don't be going to school. Cause for real, like, you're gonna bring a knife to school. Like, little Jimmy brings a knife to school, everyone starts freaking out. He's like, what? I learned it from Troom Troom. Like, what the fuck? Like, dude, what the fuck? And also, there's a thing called scissors. We don't use fucking exacto knives to cut paper. What the fuck is that? But, uh, yeah, that's all for this video. And tell me if you like this video and want more videos like this, because I really enjoy making other types of videos and making videos like this. But, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Kai Maker. Peace out. I broke my pencil case.